In this tutorial, you will see how to edit study level styles. You can define default item characteristics in Central Designer for the entire study. However, you can override them at the item level if required. To set these item characteristics, open the Tools menu and select Edit Study Level Styles. For form styles, set the question column width to 50%. When deployed to inform with these settings, the question column will utilize half the space. Code list styles are used to design multiple choice answers in a form. We recommend that you display multiple answer options vertically. For questions that need a single answer, select the option of using radio buttons. If there are more than five answer options, then a pull down is displayed. On the compound item styles, make sure that the caption alignment is always on the top. And the layout nested controls are arranged vertically. Enter a date range that you would use frequently during the trial design. This range will be automatically applied when you create a date item. Float items are used to collect numerical values with decimal points. We recommend you set the caption alignment to the top and use the item variable's length as the width for a text box. Use radio buttons for unit controls. Integer items are used to collect numerical values without decimal points. They have the same recommended settings as float items, that is, aligned to the top with a variable length as width. We recommend that you align captions at the top and use the item variable's length as the text box width. Increase the height by one line for every 50 characters. The character restriction should always be set to unrestricted. This is especially important for sites in countries that record medicine names in languages other than English. Click OK to set the study level styles. For more information, go to the help pages.